Hi, I am Jesse, and today we are going to learn how to identify the key of a song. You don't need to be gifted to be able to find the key of a song. It doesn't require any talent. It doesn't take a long time to master. And once you are able to unlock your ear, it will be very easy for you to identify the keys of songs. I want you to click on the like button below and subscribe. And let's get this going. Before we start, I would like us to tune our bass. Um, if you have a five string, the first string is a G. The second is a D. The third is an A. The fourth is an E. And the fifth is a B. If you don't have a five strings, or maybe if you are using a four, then you don't have a B. And if you have a six, there will be a C above the G. Yes. So to be able to get the key of a song, your strings are supposed to be in tune. If you have any of your strings properly tuned, you can use that as a yardstick to tune the rest. For instance, if I have my G properly tuned, I play the G. In fact, this is a technique I learned some time ago and it's been helpful. You have your G properly tuned, but probably you don't, the rest are not well tuned. You play your G, then you come to the string below, that is the D. Then you count the fifth fret of the D, you play that. It should sound the same as the one above. So if I play my fifth string, my fifth fret, you sound just like the string above. So assuming it is not in tune, so I'll detune it there. Assuming it's it's not in tune, you play you you play the G, you touch, or you play the fifth fret of the D. There's a difference, so you you hold it there and you tune it. So a little bit more. Yeah, there we have it. Same applies to the others. If I play D, a free D, and I come to the A string and play the fifth fret, you sound. It should sound the same as the string above. If it's, it doesn't sound the same, you just tune till you get, you get it. Knowing the key of a song has huge benefits, especially for jamming and improvisation. When we talk about a song being in key, for instance, if we have F major, for instance, if you have a key like F major, it means that the F major is the home note of the song. The F major is the home note of the song. Yes, the home chord is also called a tonic or the one chord. So now let's learn the major scale. So let's start with C major. With the C major scale has So this shape applies to every every key. For instance, if you are playing G major, it's the same shape. A major, the same shape. D major. Once it's a major, it has this shape. 
each of the notes in the major scale is represented by a letter or a figure there are seven there are eight actually but the the one repeats again making it eight but it's still the same so each of the seven is represented by an alphabet or a figure um, the alphabets are the numerical the roman numerals the the ones we know the i i i i i i i v v v i v i i yes or you could use the one two three four five six and seven so when i play the roots the roots notes which is there which is a tonic i i can still call it the one i can call it the root i can call it the the i can call it the root i call it the one and i can call it the tonic the second is the re the two then go to the three four five six seven and then back to the one but this is a higher one so if we have a progression like uh fa so do in the key of c which is the same as f g and c we can call it we can call the progression a four five one one means that we have arrived home so we are playing in the key of c so four five and one four five one when you listen to the one you can have you can feel a sense of resolution like you've arrived home the four and the five is like away from home a journey away from home and the one is home so when you land on the one you feel like you have arrived home yes you feel like you've arrived home so we can have a progression like the two five gives a feeling of arrival gives a feeling of resolution so just try it out try out some songs you've heard any song you hear try to get the key the moment you hit on the home note you feel a sense of arrival another progression we can try it's maybe a progression like the four five six three Four, five, six, three. In this kind of progression, you find out that the one is not in there. So while playing the progression, you you was you was, you feel a sense or an urge to go home, but the melody of the song does not allow you. With that, if you don't take care, you might assume any of the notes as the home which might not be so that's why you have to train you have to work on your hearing you have to train your ears to to be able to to be able to hear notes especially when they are landing or they are heading towards home yes let's let's take this progression in the key of g let's play this four five six and three so and listen closely to this progression you realize that it's it, it never gets home let me try and merge the home notes, the G, into it and, and listen. You see, this is the home notes and it feels like this is the tonic, the, the key of the song, the progression we are playing, this is the key. And the moment I landed there, you felt, I'm sure you felt like, yeah, that is it. That's the key. Yeah, that's the home. That's a feeling of resolution. So let's let's play it again.
this lesson was helpful, I would like you to click on the like button and click on the subscribe.